said, I'm going to share a personal story with you. I'm going to share with you how I went from new age to a believer in Jesus Christ, but I'm going to share the condensed version. So I grew up in a home that didn't know the Lord Jesus Christ for themselves. My parents were not believers at the time when I was younger, and I had three other sisters, and none of us lived for the Lord. So we grew up in a home that lived more for the world than they did for the Lord. And there was alcohol involved, but moving forward. So in my teenage years, I done whatever I wanted, okay? I got into drugs and alcohol for myself, and that lasted until my early 20s. Okay, so in my early 20s, I actually was up at college, and um, I was broke. I was a poor college kid, and I had went to this Goodwill store. And I came across this cassette tape called The Psychology of Achievement by Brian Tracy. And I listened to that cassette tape. And I listened to it so much that it it was it's wore out. And that's what started my journey to personal development, new age. And from then, I just really devoured that material. I went through courses and I read numerous books. I took online programs and this was at the beginning of the information age when people were becoming like information millionaires they were selling their information online and I thought that's it that's for me that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create informational products and I'm going to share them with the world and it's going to be based on worldly things like I put together this website on like it was on self esteem building and it was all about how to be the best you that you could be and I literally drove myself into the ground trying to make myself the best me that I could be and it wasn't until I had given birth to my first son and I had picked this book off my bookshelf that had been there for literally five years let me back up just a little bit so I even attended a seminar where you walk on a hot bed of coals and I did it because I wanted to prove to myself and probably to other people that I could do anything that I put my mind to. And then the book. So the book came along. I read that book and it just opened my eyes to scripture. Yes, I was saved through a book. So that book really changed my life. And since then, Jesus Christ has been the main focus of my life. And he has been radically changing me from the inside out. When I say I spent many years in the self-help market, I spent 12 long years in the self-help market. I studied yoga. I studied tapping. I studied the mind. I studied belief. I studied how to create your own products. I studied how to create a website. I mean, I was like all in to making myself the next internet millionaire and the first internet millionaire from the town that I grew up in. And I was burnt out. To say that I had come to the end of myself is an understatement. I literally hit the wall in not in a good way. And my life literally flashed before my eyes. I had become very unattached to people in my life. And I was so focused on gaining fame, on gaining notoriety and recognition and just simple material things. And I had let the people in my life down because I did not pay them the attention that they deserve. So it was, I think in 2013, I actually was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and that diagnosis stopped me in my tracks. Now I had been a believer for a little bit at this time. I think I was a believer in 2009, so this is 2013. And my world just changed. It changed. I had ended up going to this uh, women's weekend. It's not a retreat, but it's a women's weekend where you are showered with the love of God. It's called the short course in Christianity. That helped. Yes, it helped tremendously, but I was still stuck in this diagnosis and I held on to my Bible for like five 
years and I literally could not open it. And if I thought I was emotionless before that, I was completely emotionless through these five years. I wouldn't allow myself to be emotional about the MS at all. I wouldn't allow myself to even receive it. I just ignored it and I acted like it didn't happen. And I did that for the first two years. I completely just never went to a doctor and said, that's it. I'm you're you don't know what you're talking about. I am a Christian and there is no way that God is going to allow me to get sick, to have a disease like MS. But then when I was two years into that journey, I had actually lost sight in my right eye. And I went to the ER and the doctor there and the ER said, you have got to go see a neurologist. So I did. And it's been since 2013 to 2015, I started taking um, medication and then the Lord has really worked on me. The first scripture that the Lord ever gave me to memorize was Romans 12 and 2 that said, it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will know and be able to prove my good and pleasing will. And I took that literally. I have been literally renewing my mind for the last, what has it been? Almost 20 years with the word of God. And it has taken me that long to be okay with where I'm at in this journey. I'm not angry at God anymore. I'm not holding on to my old ways, my old ways of uh, dealing with things. Cause you learn ways to deal with things through the new age, personal development, self-help area that really takes a lot of will. It really takes a lot of you to make this stuff happen. But when you become a Christian, it really takes a lot of relying on the Lord and his work to make things happen, so to speak. So that's my journey. I, that is just a short, short explanation of how I went from new age to a believer in Jesus Christ. But I hope you found encouragement in that word. And um, please leave a comment below and let me know how has God transformed your life now that you know him, now that you know him as your own personal Lord and Savior in the one that can transform anybody. Amen. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Thank you.